Guys, welcome to an exclusive review of this Zinc 2.0 blaster. We have a whole bunch of things in front of us here, already unboxed. Let's get into them. First of all, this blaster was sent to us by Frontline Foam, okay? Custom foam blasters. If you guys are looking for custom blasters, they're the place for it, all right? Now, these blasters are not like, they're not, they're not like cheap built stuff. This is stuff that doesn't cost 10 bucks. This blaster in particular right here is $159, okay? But it is custom. You can design what colors you want on it, etc. And so it's pretty fun. Now, let's deep dive. Let's deep dive into this. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Thing I mentioned before, if you guys haven't seen my shorts review on this, I also have it as well. Um, in the pack, you get two options, two springs. The uh, lower power FPS one, which is I believe 130 FPS. So lower powered. And then inside of here, the one that I got, is a high powered 175 FPS. Now this thing packs a punch when you shoot it, all right? I really like that. Um, what I mentioned in the short review, and, and, and the, it's still the, the case, is that when you do cock this thing, it's harder to cock. Why? Because it's a bigger, stronger spring in there. Well, not bigger, just stronger spring for 175 FPS, all right? So that's why it's harder to cock. It is not recommended for uh, probably kids under uh, age of 14. So this is uh, adult stuff or big big kid stuff, all right? Um, obviously, if you put the small, uh, less FPS spring in there, it won't be as powerful or probably easier to cock. Anywho, uh, what we have in front of us is three different darts options. These are worker darts. These here are Dart Zone Pro, and these are as well Dart Zone Pro, different style. These are a little bit more foamy. These are kind of, well, I don't know if these are more foamy. These are more like rubbery and these are more foamy. But anywho, we're going to test these out as we shoot them as well. What I wanted to show you is the details of this blaster. Top, I got the blue design. I got the orange here, uh, color I mean in terms of that. Um, how do you change your spring out? You get these uh, bolts out here, take that off, put the new spring in or the lower FPS if you want. And that's how you replace that. The barrel front here is a little bit different. When you aim, you gotta compensate for that because the barrel is a little bit lower. Uh, you're thinking it's a little bit higher, almost uh, half an inch lower down than, than what you're thinking when you're aiming. So you gotta compensate for that when you aim. It's a little bit lower. Uh, we got the trigger area here, as you can see, pretty cool. Um, nice to hold. I like how it grips, it's not bad. It is a 3D printed blaster, so I mean, you can't expect too much. If you wanna change this around, maybe put, um, put some tactical, uh, what do you call it, paracord stuff around here for your grip, you could try that. Um, we got the button here to release your mag. So how does it work? You take a magazine, load it in, and then if you wanna release it, you press this button, check it out. It does have a spring in there for magazine release, so it's kinda cool. Check that out. One thing, I know it is a 3D printed blaster, so when you do put it in, the sound it makes isn't an attractive sound. It's the only negative thing I would say, but it's pretty fun to do this all day. Ugh. Pretty cool. It just feels like an actual real nine millimeter, whatever, deagle or something like that, for example, right? We got some tactical um, rails here underneath. So like I said, that's how it works. So what we're gonna do is, uh, why I like it, it's it just fun because here, let me show you. You take a magazine and you just load up these regular darts in there, but you load them up and it just feels like you're loading up an actual real life, like a, a magazine, like a real life gun almost, because you put them in just like that individually. And it just feels, it's the same size, uh, like a nine millimeter or something. Pop that in, cock it and just listen to the sound. That's a lot of power. That is a lot of power. The way it works is this cocks it, this loads it, all right? Cock, load. Let's try one more time. It's got some kick to it. So when you do cock it, as you can see, this is how it looks there. It, it just feels and it looks like an actual nine millimeter uh, pistol. Can it just it's powerful it covers long distances dude i'm really impressed by this thing so what i wanted to do is try something different let's take uh these darts see if there is a difference can it shoot them i'm sure it can but let's just load up a few uh, and see how it feels when you shoot that okay 
Okay, so these darts are definitely more uh, better quality. They don't fall apart like the worker ones. Uh, so Dart Zone Pro um, darts are definitely a welcome uh, change here for this blaster because like I said, they don't fall apart like the typical worker ones. These ones, the tips just fall apart from them because of the sheer power of this blaster. So if you shoot at close range, the darts fall apart. Here we go, let's try this. Okay, that, these perform way better than these ones, first of all. So this one's, th these are uh, the uh, less rubbery, more foamy style than these. So I, I like this style. Let's, let's compare this to the worker one. Very close. So these ones do not perform as well. So worker ones, uh, obviously, uh, if you don't want them to fall apart, dart zone ones are definitely an option. These uh, obviously short style darts. Um, other than that, guys, this is a really cool blaster. Like I said, I like it. Frontline foam. Uh, links below if you guys want to check out the the uh, page for this blaster if you want to order it for yourselves or check out some other ones that they have on the site. I really want to thank them for sending this blaster and hopefully we can get some more and I can show it to you guys. Other than that, hope you like this review. I really like this blaster. This one is definitely one of my top ones in terms of just pistol style blasters. If you want to use this in, in, a, in a Nerf board outside on, a, on a, like a even a long range outside uh, Nerf board, this is, trust me, packs a punch. You got to make sure you wear goggles because this thing, if it hits you uh, around the eye, it's a problem. So yeah, it's got, it's got a punch to it. If you want to shoot some targets outside with this thing, again, definitely can uh, easily achieve that because it's pretty powerful, pretty accurate. When the darts come out of this thing, they zoom straight. All right, dude, so what I want to do now is actually do this in one take so you guys don't think it's set up. Let's just see how the aim is with this blaster. Put one cup down, simple, small target, and we're going to do it from different, uh, I guess, distances just to see, just to see if this is what, as advertised as it is. So let's back up. Let's just back up. I'll give you guys a little bit of reference. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten feet right here. Ten feet. Let's see if we can hit this thing off ten feet. Like I said, the barrel's a little bit lower, so you gotta compensate for that. So let's just see. Easy, one shot, single shot. There's no cuts in this take. So let's just see. Oh, I gotta get the cup here. So let me. I'm not gonna stop the video just so you guys don't think it's different takes. And I'm making this stuff up. So that was 10 feet. Ugh. Let's put the cup right back down here. Let's back up now two more. Let's go another two, three, four, five. 15 feet right here. Okay, missed that one, but just narrowly missed it. Boom. 15 feet, second shot. I'm gonna back out some more. So pretty accurate. Second shot, I hit it. I almost hit that first one. It was just uh, a little graze. But look at the cup. Look at the power on this thing. The cup has, is bent. I gotta fix this. Look at that. All right, so let's go to 20 feet. So we were here at 15. 20 feet, go to 20 feet. First shot, 20 feet, dudes. First shot. So this is what I'm telling you, you don't need to spend a lot of ammo here trying to hit a target. Less ammo is key right now. This thing is just very, very powerful, very accurate. Look at this cup, it's shredding it pretty much. Look at it. All right, and that's off of longer distances right now. We're gonna go to like all the way down. That's probably 30 to 35 feet. And let's see if we can actually hit this cup from that distance. Right now, very impressive, as you can tell. We did not cut this video at all, which is one long take. Let's see if we can do this. All the way down. All the way down, dude. Okay. Third shot. Three shots to hit it from that distance. And that target is pretty tiny. It's just one single cup. Very, very impressive. I actually had another magazine loaded with different ammo just because I thought I, I didn't realize that I'm gonna spend only one. Uh, there was that was the last bullet too, uh, or dart uh, out of this one single magazine, and we hit at different distances pretty accurately, if not one shot, single, if not a single shot in the second second shot. So very powerful, very accurate. 
I highly recommend this thing if you guys are looking for accuracy compared to all the Nerf guns we have. This thing is the most accurate thing right now.